This morning, we have a story that every parent needs to hear about a pilot program in Texas that could potentially keep thousands of children a year from dying. CBS News correspondent Don Teague is in Dallas with the details. Don, good morning. Good morning, Debbie. When doctors in Houston launched this program to look for undiagnosed heart problems in middle schoolers, they expected those problems would be relatively rare. What they found, in a word, was shocking. Of about 100 sixth graders who underwent a series of tests by doctors, seven were discovered to have heart conditions that had been missed in regular checkups. Two of the children needed surgery. Potentially screening that group of 100 children, we have saved two lives. Dr. John Higgins hopes the study, which includes a series of four tests on each child, including EKGs and echocardiograms, will eventually lead to routine heart exams for all sixth graders in America. We can look at the different chambers of the heart. We can see if there's any holes in the heart, any problems with the muscle of the heart. The goal, to prevent sudden cardiac arrest, particularly in student athletes. An estimated six to 8,000 children die of SCA each year. Like Renee Sukowiski's daughter, Nicole, who collapsed on a practice field 11 years ago. She did not make it. She uh, died of heart, sudden cardiac arrest. All right, we thank Don Teague in Dallas for that report. We have our own Jennifer Ashton here. She's going to talk to us a little about this. It sounds like the sky is falling when it comes to our kids' health and it's heart. It's really not, Debbie. First of all, limitations. This is a small study. It didn't look at other things like cost. This does affect about 35,000 children a year. We're talking here about congenital heart defects, not coronary heart disease. And of this very small group they studied, they found two life-threatening heart defects. Parents should talk to their children's pediatrician, find out about whether just a physical exam and history is enough or whether they need to go on to an EKG or sonogram. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so you much. Bet.